Hi everybody, welcome to the Verbling English class. Uh, my name is Lorraine and today the topic that I have chosen is um, longevity, which just means um, the ability to live a long time. So this is a reading uh, exercise. We will also be doing some speaking and it's at an inter, um, intermediate level. If you are a uh, premium member then you can join the class right away and if you have a reservation you can join. You, If you are interested in getting reservations at the top of your Verbling page you will see a get reservations and you can take a look there for how you can get them. So I'm just starting to get people coming into the classroom. Uh, Vincenzo, hello. Vincenzo, are you there? Make sure that you have your mic unmuted because I'm not hearing you at the moment. There we go. Hello. Can you hear me, Vincenzo? Am I saying your name correctly? Whoa. There he is. Hello. Welcome to class. Amanda. Hello. Hello, Rory. You're How are you? I'm good. Your microphone might be up too loud. I'm getting, um, it's noisy. Mm. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's working, so not too much of a problem. Anyway, welcome to class. And where are you from, Amanda? Amanda? Okay, and we've got, there's an interesting name, Bawal Boo. <laughs> How do you call yourself Bawal Boo? You can call me Bawal. Just Bawal? Yeah. Is that a nickname or your real name? No, it's not my name. It's my real name, Abdullah. Okay, but you go by Bawal? Yeah, I like that name. I like okay, Bawal great. Musician. Great, I'll call you Bao. Where are you from? I'm from Guinea Conakry. Could you say that again, please? Guinea Conakry, from Africa. From Africa. Can you write yeah. down um, where you're from? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Guinea Conakry. Okay. Well, welcome to class. Thank you. <laughs> and Damien? Yes, hello. Hello, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. And That's you? good. I'm very good. Uh, and where are you from, Damien? I'm from Poland. From Poland. Well, welcome to class. Thank you. Uh, Julio? Yes. Hello. Welcome to class. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And where are you from, Julio? Timor Leste. Uh, say it again, please. Timor Leste. <laughs> I, I type it down. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, Timor Leste. And where is that? It's between Australia and Indonesia. Oh, okay. I, I a small getting, island. Yeah. A small, a small island. Wonderful. Well, so nice to meet you. Welcome to class. Thank you. Manel? Uh, hi, do you hear me okay? I hear you just fine. Am I um, saying your name correctly, Manel? Okay, my, my name is Manel and uh, I am from Barcelona in Spain. Oh, welcome. Very nice. Nice to see people from Spain. Thank you. And Michelle? Good morning, teacher. I'm Michele. I'm from Italy. Michele, okay. Oh, very nice. And what is the weather like in Italy today? Today is just a bit cloudy. Okay, it's the same here, cloudy. Yes, but it's not raining. Good, okay. 
Nice to see you. And we've got Sarah. Sarah? Yes. Hi, teacher. Hello. What a beautiful butterfly. Is that a picture that you have taken or just a picture you like? No, no, just a picture I like. Oh, it is very beautiful. And where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Tunisia. Okay, say it again. Tunisia. Tunisia, okay. Yes. Welcome. Ah, yes, thank you. That makes it easier when I can see it, too. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to class. Thank and then you. we have Shelly. Hello, Shelly. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to Shelley. meet you. Is that a picture of you, Shelly? Yes, that's right. Oh, very nice. And where are you from? I'm from Taiwan, but I'm living in Osaka, Japan now. Okay. And is that a picture from Taiwan or Japan? Uh, from Japan, it's a traditional house it's a museum. Oh. Outside the museum. Okay, very nice. Well, welcome to class. Thank you. Okay, and Vincenzo. There you are. Can you speak now? Yes. Can you hear me? Uh, oh, good. Nice there. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And where are you, where are you, you from? Hear? I hear you. Okay. Yes. Good. I, I, I am from Italy. I am for room. Yes. Oh, okay, lovely. Now, somebody has their verbling window open, and I can hear echoes of my own voice. So if you could just make sure that you've closed your uh, verbling window so we don't get the echoes, that would be great. And also, if you're not talking, it's good to turn off your mic so we don't get background noise. Okay. So we're going to start our lesson, which is about longevity. And I just want to know, what do you think is important to have a long, healthy life? And we'll start down here with Amanda. What's important, do you think, to have your life long and healthy? I think the most important is to be happy. To be happy. Okay, good. And Bowel? Yeah. What do you think is important for a long, healthy life? Oh, thank God and proud of yourself. Okay. Um, is there anything we need to do physically to help maintain a healthy life? Bella, do you think? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, can you repeat again? Because I'm not very well in English, I'm sorry. That's okay, I'll speak slow. Is okay. there anything that we need to do physically to have a long, healthy life? Physically meaning um, exercise or what we yeah. eat or yeah 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 we do have okay good and Damien what do you think we need to have for a long healthy life what's important I think uh, our food is important to eat uh, plain food okay so good food uh, what what do you think would be good food a lot of vegetables and uh, fruits. Okay, good. Fruits and vegetables. Sounds good. Julio, what do you think? Can, can you call me Julio? Oh, yeah. Jul sure. Julio. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Usually so that name Spanish is... A, <laughs> yeah. Name. That's yeah. what I see. Julio. Sorry. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. So, okay. the most important in our life, uh, if we want to um, stay healthy for a long life, uh, the fish thing is, uh, like someone says, exercise is, is more important. Okay. And the second one is uh, we have to take a rest ourselves at least 10 hours or 8 hours we have to sleep for a day. Oh, yes. The third thing, um, we have to eat uh, healthy food, uh, drink enough water to supply for our body and uh, it can help our uh, physically we can have uh, good health uh, and then uh, the most important thing is uh, we have to keep a smile so a smile is a good thing for our body to stay healthy because when we smile means that we are happy so means that uh, we have a long life, uh, we have a good relationship with other persons, so, so over, that's it. Okay, that's great, Julio. I don't 
think you've left anything for anybody else. <laughs> but thank you. Um, Manel, um, uh, anything uh, you can add to Julio's list? <laughs> um, sorry, can you repeat, please? Oh, I was just, um, Julio said a lot of different things. I wondered if you could find something different to add yeah. to his list. Yeah, I agree with Julius because uh, the, uh, Julius say uh, a lot of things that I agree. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, sleep uh, enough, uh, to sleep enough, uh, to eat only just you have to eat, no, a lot of eat, only just, uh, uh, and do sports every day or exercise every day yes and and uh, above of all be happy with your life with your way of life yes good thank you yes and uh, Michele I'm sorry was it Michele yes I think that we shouldn't smoke oh good point. I yes I think that we shouldn't drink uh, too much just a little glass of red wine. Ah, sounds good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that we should eat olive oil. Oh, very good. Very interesting point. Yeah, very good. Okay, thank you. Sarah? I think having uh, like a uh, style to live or having like um, a special I, yes, I think we shouldn't drink too much. Um, Sarah, you might have your verbling window open. Whoop, yeah. I think we lost her. <laughs> and I think that we should be all going. Okay. Very good, very good. Vincenzo, make sure that your uh, uh, verbling window is closed. I'm just trying to figure out where that uh, echo was coming from. It looks like I it's coming know. from you. You only have uh, the Google Hangout open? Uh, Sorry. What, do you, what do you mean? Uh, at the top of your page, you have tabs. Can it speak? One, no, no, no. Okay. One tab okay. is Verbling Window, uh, and the other one is Google Hangouts. So shut Verbling Window. Okay. I'm sorry, Sarah. Yes. Um, I wanted to say that to live a healthier life, you need to have to adopt a special lifestyle, like having a clear diet and uh, like having a clear schedule. You need like to divide your time between your work and to relax your body and to have exercises to eat uh, quite like healthy food containing minerals, vegetables, uh, drinking uh, water is also uh, important. Yeah, yeah I think uh, that's a good list as well. Thank you, yes. Sarah. Thank you. Um, and Shelley? Uh, I think many people have talked about healthy diet and exercise. Let me add one thing, uh, learning. Ah. We need to learn to make our brains active. So oh. let's keep on um, logging in, verbally, as long as our life. <laughs> Very good. Yes, that's that's a good point. Thank you for bringing that one up. Excellent. Uh, and Vincenzo, do you have anything to yes, add? I, I can. Go ahead. Riz, what did you see? Um, what did you see? Do you, you have any? Do you have anything to add for um, what is important for a long, healthy life? Yeah. Yes, I want. I want to say you what I'm doing in order to have a long life, really, and and every day. So I perhaps I give much importance, much importance to what uh, you eat. You know, uh, right. I recognize that is also very important the character and the way where uh, you live you in your life 
a good character is also good for a long and healthy life. Okay. So uh, I want I want to say that uh, I try to eat uh, uh, to to follow diet. You know, no, I don't know if you make the same the, the same thing. I use to have a, a, a how do you say a detached diet in the a, at lunch. I used to have some pasta, some spaghetti or rice or something there, with uh, in the second plate uh, with uh, some vegetables. In the evening, I have always uh, something like fish, like uh, meat or eggs or uh, cheese or uh, okay. different uh, one day from another. And uh, but I have always I eat always a fruit, you know. Okay. Yes. Uh, either in uh, at lunch or uh, in the evening. I think okay. it's very important to eat uh, to, uh, a lot of fruit. Okay, okay. Good. Great. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna um, go on to the lesson now. So that's great. We've got a lot of good information about how to live a long life from everyone. I think everyone's got great ideas. I'm going to do Excuse a me, screen you, share. Yes? Excuse me. I want to say another thing because I want to lose uh, weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. I want to lose weight. I, am, I, have, I, I was 99 kilos. I don't know in your measures. Well, uh, what is it? But it's very, very, very big, very high in weight. <laughs> okay, so, so losing weight is a good idea. Okay. okay, so we're going to go on with the lesson now. Um, I'm going to share a screen with you, and right at the beginning, I put the, um, the worksheet uh, link. I'll put it again in the chat window. Yes, it's there. Okay. So this is the document we're working from, and I have a, uh, a screen share to go with it. So we're going to be reading an article, and before we do, we're going to just take a look at some of these words so that we know what all of the words mean. So I'm going to start over here with Amanda. Number one, can you read that word for me, please? Can you see the screen? Longevity. I don't Long know. Okay, longevity. Can you say that? Longevity. Longevity. Yes. So, any idea which one of these definitions means longevity? I don't have any idea. Okay. All right then. Um, does anybody know? Living for a long living time. Living for a long time. Yes. E. Living for a long time. That's what longevity means. Good. Okay. Bawa. Number two. Pre prema premature. Okay. Premature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think that means? Where is it? I don't know. I don't know what supremacy means. Okay. Anybody else help him out? Who can help me? Happening too soon. Yeah, too soon. happening too soon. Premature. So mature means um, uh, fully yeah, developed. Right yeah, fully mm -hmm. developed. And premature means before developed, before being developed. So happening okay. too soon. Good, thank you. And Damien, number three. Uh, wait a second, because something happened with my uh, computer and I can't see everything. Okay, we'll wait for a second. It usually clears. Uh, life expectancy. Yes. <clears throat> it's mean. How long you are likely to live? Yes, very good. Okay, super. And um, Julio, number four. 
I don't see the screen. Can can you open the screen for me? Um, you'll either have to open the document. Yeah, yeah. The the link is there, or yeah, the yeah. screen just comes in and out. I really have no control over it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes. So we're doing number four. Yeah. Overweight. Overweight. Yes. Yeah. Is extremely fat. A. Uh, no, there's a better word for A than overweight. It's true, it is overweight, but there's another word that's uh, that matches extremely fat. So overweight has a different meaning. TC, having more body weight than normal. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, good, thank you. And um, uh, Manel, number five. Uh, ob obese. Obese. Obese, sorry. Yes. Uh, extremely fat. That's the one. Yes, good. And uh, Mikale? Well being. Mm, well being. I think this well being. Yes. I think that this age, the set of feeling happy and healthy. I think so too. Good. And uh, Shelley, number seven. Neighborhood G, the area of the town or city where you live. Good. And uh, Vincenzo, number eight. Number eight, H, the state of feeling happy. Be and healthy. Number eight, we're looking at the word wealthy under right. um, health and well being. On the worksheet, it's uh, um, number two, health and well being. And we're looking at the bottom word for number eight. H. Well, wealthy. And the meaning? The meaning and uh, wealthy. Is number is age date of feeling happy and healthy. Uh, well, uh, age has already been used, which is well being. Uh, it's already uh, been well used. The state of rich, wealthy, rich, rich. That's the one. Yes. Good. Uh, yes. Thank okay. you. Okay. Excellent. All right. So we're going to now read the article about longevity, and I'll put that up on a screen share for you. You also have it if you've got the document. You can read it from the document or uh, you'll be able to read it from the screen share. Okay. So, um, did I have somebody? Okay. So, Amanda, can you read um, the title and uh, what's under the title and paragraph one for me, please. Okay. How to live to one, 114 in theory. Yes. Doctors can, know, can now tell us which habits may extend our lives Lies. and just how much ex, extra time they give us. Okay, so that word is lives may extend our lives. Okay. Okay, good. All right, so paragraph one. New research shows exactly how many years longer people can live by adopting healthy behaviors, from stopping smoking and losing weight to eating less meat and being positive. Thank you. 
all. It happens. Sorry, I've been muted. That's my problem. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, now I'm on. Uh, Bow Wow, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can you read uh, uh, paragraph two for me, please? Study. Yeah. Studies have suggested that dark choco chocolate is good for the heat. Heart. And the may hearts. Yes. And the may burst longative. Longevity. Longevity. Yes. Research based on on Harvard graduate show show we that people who who eat chocolate live a year or so longer than those who do not those who ate one to three bars a month came out best with a uh, 36 per percent yes percent percent lawyer risk of premature of premature yeah, yeah premature death a premature death yes uh, it's a very and, good news. Antio six antio six dand antioxidants antioxidant especially yes. in dark chocolate may be responsi responsible good thank you you're welcome <laughs> and i think it's uh damien next number three uh, yes uh, diets with low levels of meat and vegetarian diets uh, have been linked to lower risk of premature death a review of research by public health specialists at Loma Linda University in America looked at the life expectancy of those who uh, rarely ate meat and found uh, that sticking to such a diet added 3.6 years to a person's life. The health effect may be due to lower saturated fat intake and higher antioxidant levels as a consequence of eating more fruits and vegetables. Good, thank you. And just to let you know that word, uh, rarely, rarely, rarely a rarely. which means very seldom. Yes, Not I know often. what this means, but oh, okay. I didn't know. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. And uh, Julio is next, uh, paragraph four, please. Yes. Moderate to high levels of activity can extend life by between 1.3 and 3.7 years. Researchers at Erasmus University in the Netherlands say the main reason is the beneficial effect that physical activity has on the heart. People who take exercise are also less likely to be overweight and more likely to have a better kind of health. Wow, we got some noise going on here. If you aren't speaking, could you mute your microphone so we can cut down on the background noise? We have crying babies. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, Manel, you're next, uh, number five. Okay. High, highly educated women can expect to live more than five years longer than less educated women while men with a university degree have an extra 7.8 years according to a Harvard University study. One explanation is the adoption of healthier lifestyles and one of the biggest difference was in heart disease rates. Good, thank you. And uh, uh, Nicole? Number yes. six. Research at the Caroline Institute in Sweden shows that golfers live five years longer. Uh, the study okay. shows a 40% reduced risk of premature and the health benefits or exercise and companionship may be the reason. Good, thank you. And 
uh, Shelley, can you read number seven, please? Okay. <clears throat> Losing weight can add as much as seven years to a person's life. A team at Oxford University showed that people who are obese at the age of 40 died, on average, seven years earlier. Okay, good, thank you. And number eight, well, that's a long one. Um, Vincenzo, number eight, please. Are you there, Vincenzo? Oh, I think he's muted. Is he muted? Vincenzo, make sure you have unmuted so that you can speak. I can't hear you. No, still not getting anything. Uh, okay, then. Uh, Amanda, can you read? Well, no, we've already read, haven't you? Uh, we had somebody new just popped in. Raphael, hello. 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 Welcome Hello. to class. Thank you. <laughs> are, can you read the screen? And are you able to read number eight, paragraph eight for us? Yes. Wait. On the on the screen share, can you read number eight? Eight. Not smoking adds up to ten years to life. A team at the University of Helsinki found th that those who had never smoked lived an average 10 years longer than those who smoked more than 20 a day. Re research on men in New Zealand showed that 15% uh, of smokers died prematurely and that they died 40 years earlier than non-smokers. Heart dis disease and cancer are among disease and yes. heart Good. disease and cancer uh, are among the biggest killers. The good news for smokers is that it is never too late to give up. According to to the U.S. National Leach Institute Institute on Drug yes. Ab Abuse, a thirty fifth year old man who I cannot that I cannot look out. Okay. Uh, who man quit smoking will I cannot see. Okay, it'll come in back in a second. It, it's 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 crazy this life expectancy expectancy by five and one years. On average. Good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it goes in and out. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. It's the way it is on Google Hangouts. Okay, and uh, okay, Vincenzo, are you there? Yes, do you hear me? I can hear you now. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay. okay. Can, can you do. I, yes, um, I must, I'm sorry. Okay, you're That's breaking up. Because <laughs> there, there was some problem. No. There's still a bit <laughs> of a problem. Moment, excuse me, but uh, yes. there is some you, problem with my computer. Okay, so I. I yeah, I'm you're breaking up too much. <laughs> yes. I can't yes. hear you very well. All right, so I'm right. going to get. Um, yes, uh, I am in the document. Number eight. Now we're doing number what nine number now. Number nine starts with according to a Chicago. Number nine. Okay, allora. According to a Chicago University report, married men live uh, live on average uh, ten years, ten years long longer than non-married men, while married women live. Uh, about four years longer than a married woman. 
One ter theory is that married men adopt less risky and more healthy lifestyles as a result of the commitment that marriage brings. Married women may, may live longer due to improved financial well-being. Well -being. However, one Swiss study found that being married shortens a woman's life by 1.4 uh, years, possibly because of the stress of living with the man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just want I to point to out be, so, eh? some yeah. people have be, been be. having difficulties with the word L-I-V-E. If it's um, if it's a verb, it's pronounced live, but if it is like a person's life um, and you are alive, but when you're using it as the verb, it's called live. So married yeah, yes. women live about four years longer. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Yes, yes. And number 10. Um, all right, we're back to Amanda now. Could you read number 10, please, Amanda? Okay, I think I'm going to have many mistakes. That's okay. But no problem. Let's, let's go. Yes. Wealthy people live longer than the poor. One of the clearest contrasts was found by Baltimore Healthy Officials in the U.S. In the poor neighborhoods, the Average life ex ex what? Expectancy. Expectancy was 63 years against 83 in wealthy sub suburbs. Perfect. Good. Thank you. That wasn't so bad at all. <laughs> Very mm -hmm. good. All right. So we've read through these. Um, this article and now we're going to look at let me just go back to the other screen share um, here it is so you'll probably need the article in front of you hopefully you've uh, got it on the um, on the link because now we're going to find the information we're going to complete the average number of years that each of the following lifestyles and behaviors add to a person's life expectancy according to the research in the article and we're going to write down the reasons given so for the first one I've done it already eating chocolate it added one year of life and the reason was the antioxidants in dark chocolate okay so now we're going to look for eating less meat how many years of life expectancy does it add and why? Who can do this next one? The article say that you can live more than three years if you eat if you don't eat too much meat. Okay, what do we have here? Three points. 3.6 years. Yeah. And it's because of lower fat intake and yes. higher antioxidant levels. Okay, good. And for C, keeping active. One point three and uh, three point seven years. Okay, between one point three and three point seven. Why? Uh, because it's good for the heart, less likely to become obese. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Beautiful. Okay, good. And then university education for men. University education for men, 7.8 years. And why? Uh, it's adoption of healthier lifestyle. Okay, good. Super. All right, and what about education for women? Five years. Five years. And why? 
I think it is the same for the man. Yeah, I think so too. Good. Okay. And what about golf? Mm. Five years. Yes, five years five too. Years. Five years. Okay, exercise and companionship. Yes, and, and I think that um, the scientist was a golfer. <laughs> I think you <laughs> must be right. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about for not smoking? Ten years, ten years. after ten years, life. And why? Because they found that uh, who who for those who had a, ever smoked, uh, they live average ten years longer than those who smoke more than twenty day. Okay, so that was the answer. Reduced risk of cancer and heart disease because most of the people who smoked. Um, we're getting cancer and heart disease. Okay, yep. good. Marriage for men. Ten years. Wow. So that's it, man. You all have to get married. <laughs> 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 and what about for women? Four years. Okay, and for the reason of financial well-being. So, yeah, it's it's kind of a toss-up because we kind of lose a few uh, years because we have to live with a guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about living in the right neighborhood? Twenty years. Twenty years. Twenty years. Yes. Wow. And why? Well, uh, you be wealthy people can live longer. Okay, typically, yeah, wealthy people live longer. Why do you think that might be? Because they can treat their sickness. And they okay. can afford any diet. Yeah, they can afford good food, they can afford health care. Um, there's lots of good reasons. They can afford to live in a neighborhood that um, doesn't have uh, pollutants. I know that there are some poor neighborhoods, uh, especially right uh, in industrial areas in North America, um, where people are living right beside factories that are um, creating pollutants in the air and in the soils. So. Um, if you're wealthy, you wouldn't live in that neighborhood. You'd live somewhere um, where the air is healthier. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now. And one more thing. And one yes. more is like uh, they they live in the neighborhood which which area is like uh, you know Tamil area that it's 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 kind of help the people to live longer because uh, it's kind of like war or some problems that happen around there. Uh, uh, the 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 live the place of living so it's kind of not help it's also affect to their life yes yeah I agree okay good thank you for that point um, we're going to look at some lifestyle phrases we'll match the verbs on the left with the words on the right to form phrases from the text so all of these verbs go together with these phrases or words. So we have to match which one goes to which. So number one, um, Vincenzo, can you figure out what you would stick to? Yes. Yes. What do you think? Stick to something good. Something. The, the, the we've got this to close something. Close yes, <laughs> but we've got um, number one. But is, I don't find the, the answer. And we have. Wait a moment. I don't know. Okay. I, 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 All right. I think something that is close to some, 
to another thing, but uh, no, I'm married. Okay. okay, you're not quite understanding um, what we're doing here. We'll do it with somebody else so you can see what we're gonna what what's going to happen. Uh, so Manel, number one, stick two. What phrase do you think that it belongs to on the other side? I, I really don't know because I think uh, uh, stick two means uh, to punch or to punch some, something or to uh, sting perhaps uh, stink to smoking. No, uh, we want to quit smoking, right? Is, All right, I'll do the first one. One is, one is B. Yes, one is B. Yeah, yeah. healthy diet. Yeah. Stick so you want to you want to stick to something that is good for you, that you can oh, continue okay. to do for a long time. So you want to stick to a healthy diet. Okay. To, what what ah. means? To, uh, uh, it's like agree, agree too. Um. Or to like do something. To maintain something. To, to maintain, con okay. To continue to do it um, for a long time. You stick okay. to it for a long time. In other words, a stick is a tight, tight together. Yes. In this case, it's like glue. <laughs> yeah. glue. Glue sticks to something. Yeah. So we want to stick to a healthy diet like glue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, number two, adopt. Bow Wow, mm -hmm. what do we want to adopt? Adopt. Yeah. A, a healthier lifestyle. Health, yeah. Healthier yeah. Lifestyle. yeah, that's right. We're going to adopt a healthier lifestyle. So what does the word adopt mean? Adjust. Follow. When we use adopt, often we use it with uh, children. We adopt children. So yeah. we take in children that are not our own, but we adopt them like they are now, from this time forth, going to be our own. So we want to adopt a healthier lifestyle so that the old lifestyle we're not going to do anymore, we've adopted a new one, a healthier one. Okay? All right. Number three, we have uh, quit. Damien, what quit do we smoking. want to quit? Well, we want to quit smoking for sure. That's what we want to do. Good. And uh, Julio, be. We want to be something. Be married. Yeah, we married. want to be married. Yeah. Oh no, be positive. Sorry. Right. Yeah, be positive. Oh well either you know what? Either one of those could work. It's just that if we use the wrong one here, then we don't have it for where we need it. <laughs> but we gotta be positive. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> we wanna lose something. Weight. Yeah, we wanna lose weight. That's an easy one. Okay. Now, this no next one, six, uh, which is take. Now, the way uh, this is a British English, uh, these worksheets that I'm using are British worksheets. And in North America, we don't usually say take with this word. But you've only got two choices there, so which one do you think it is? Take exercise. Yeah, what take exercise. What, what we would take use exercise. is we get some exercise. We get exercise. Get exercise. Yeah, that's how we would say it. But if I use get for exercise, I don't have it for the next one. And take won't work with the next one. <laughs> so get married, right? Get married. Yeah. So the only one that's a little different in North America is this uh, take exercise. People will understand you if you say that, but it's more common to say, I need to get some exercise, not I need to take some exercise. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to look at the phrases that we use when we are 
explaining something or we're speculating about something. Does anybody know what speculating means? To speculate. When we talk about something. It means uh, uh, to, to buy something and to sell to increase the, the price and to sell again and to buy again okay. and to the price and to sell again. And yeah, that's very good. That's using speculating in a different way. You're right. That is exactly what speculating is. But what we're talking about here is a little bit different the way we use this word in terms of... Yes, yes. Uh, when we made a lot of thoughts about something, about something a lot of thoughts, uh, we are giving a lot of explanation about something. Uh, how do you say? <laughs> when we, we want to know all about uh, something. You okay. Know? When yeah. we talk a about something, of, but we uh, don't know the truth. Exactly. Of, there. That was good. Not thinking we, about something. We we talk about something, or we're thinking about something, but we really don't know the truth. So we speculate about it. Maybe it was this, or maybe it was that. That's speculation. So we have some structures used in paragraph 3, 4, 5, 6, and two of them in 9 um, that are phrases of speculation or explanation. So can somebody find me one in paragraph 3? Um, this is the example up here. Antioxidants, especially in dark chocolate, may be responsible. So that's the, the structure for speculating. We don't know if it's responsible totally, but it might be. Maybe. Responsible. Okay. Number three, uh, paragraph three. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Maybe due to, as a consequence of, either one of those. Do you see it there in the paragraph? Let's see. May to do. Yeah, and the uh, last sentence is as a consequence of eating more fruit and vegetables. Okay. Uh, number f paragraph four. What do we find there? Can extend maybe. Um, possibly. Okay, I think it's um, the main reason. In this yeah, case, it's an explanation. So I think it's the main reason. <coughs> Let me see. Yes. <laughs> Mute your mic if you're not uh, if you're not talking. Okay, so we don't get a lot of noise. Thank you. Okay, number five. What do we have there? Paragraph can you speak, 5. Can you speak to? Okay, I just have to take a look myself. Again, we're looking at explanations. Um, can expect to live is, uh, is the statement, but we want to know about why. Why can they expect to live? When so we're looking at explanations or the speculations for why this would be. One explanation. One explanation is. Yeah. Okay. Good. I have to keep switching my screen here. Okay. And number six. Remember, you're looking for the explanation or the speculation. For the statement, maybe the reason. Okay, that sounds yeah. like one. Yes, good. And the two and number nine, first one.
one theory is that? One theory. Okay, and another one? One. She's a study. Hmm. Possibly because of. Yeah, there it is. Possibly because of. Good. All right, so we have. Yeah. You've got a text oh, great. I've got a text message. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Now, we don't have very much time left, but we'll try and get one or two of these ones done. We're going to use these, um, these uh, expressions in some sentences. We'll see which ones fit. There's usually more than one. So we'll start with uh, Vincenzo. Uh, read number one and see if you can figure yeah. out what we could put in the blank. Okay. Can you Our read it out loud? Shows that all the adults, uh, research shows that all the adults perform better at university than younger adults. Uh, that uh, adults, adults, that all people tend to that all the people tend to have more motivation allora, that the young adults there is a point I think huh? there is a point, point that all the okay so where, because where, they where, have had to where no where that all the people tend to have more motivation where Okay, you think it should be where? I think, but I am not sure. Okay, so we're going to where use. Hold on. Then I'm then going to go back to this one. Okay. We're going to use one of these, maybe due to, as a consequence of, the main reason is, one explanation is, one of those has to fit in there. Okay? Okay. okay. One explanation is. No, me, me. Very, uh, one theory to the best. One theory is that uh, all the people okay. tend to have more motivation because they have had to experience life's difficulties. Okay. It is. Yeah. One, one, okay, one so you said the theory that. one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Uh, number two. Uh, can I get Manel to do number two, please? Okay, um, <clears throat> road accidents tend to happen more often on Fridays than other days. This blank end of week tiredness and heavy traffic. Uh, okay. Wait a moment. Uh, 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 I think uh, this possibly because of okay. end of week tiredness and heavy traffic. Okay, I think that one would work. It may not be the one that I've got, but maybe due to. Very similar. Any kind of a phrase like that will work. And okay. I think we might have time to just get to the end of this page and then we'll have to go. So, Bow Wow, can you do number three? Bow Wow, are you there? No, I'll have to go on. Damien, number three? Uh. Sharks do not often uh, often eat the humans that they attack. Uh, the reason, the main reason is that the human body doesn't provide the high energy fat uh, that sharks need. I think that one would work just fine. Yeah, good. So the main reason is, or one theory is, depending on whether you know for sure, or if it's a theory. Good. And uh, number four, really quickly, uh, uh, Mikhailet? No, no, Mikhailet. Uh, Shelly, can you do it very quickly? Number four? No, I'm not getting anyone. Whoops. Jim, I'm oh, sorry. Jim okay, failed go ahead. His, Jim failed his driving test 
as a consequence of poor preposition. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. So we have to leave it here um, because we're out of time. If you would like to get a chart of the phrases for speculating, I'm going to put one on my Facebook page in a little while. So if you want to uh, uh, have that, uh, just go to my Facebook page and, uh, and it'll be there. So thank you so much for thank joining you. the class. I hope it's been fun for you. It has been for me. You're great guys. Thank and, you. Thank you uh, to you. I'll see you next time. Thank you very see much. Bye-bye. 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 Have a great day. Bye. You too. Have a great day.